Never Stop Learning Week 336. We're going to take a quick look at emoji and SVG fonts in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. All right, so if you're not familiar with emojis, that's uh, these yellow guys that you see here on my screen. One of them's laughing, and the other one looks like he's pretty much over it. All right, so I want to show you how to access these guys because they could come in handy sometimes. All right, so what you want to do is hit the T key on your keyboard to activate the type tool. Over here at the top, just click once and start typing in E-M-O-J. Now it's going to show you a list of the emoji fonts that are installed on your machine. Currently on my machine, I have two different fonts to choose from. I've got Apple Color Emoji Regular and I've got Emoji One Color. All right, so there are actually two different types of fonts. If you notice over here on the right, it shows that Apple Color Emoji Regular is a true type font and Emoji One Color is an SVG open type font. All right, so I'm gonna go with Emoji One Color. Now it's gonna bring up the glyphs panel for me over here on the right. And if you don't see your glyphs panel, what you wanna do is come over here to the top in the window menu, scroll through, find glyphs, and when you click on that, it'll bring up the glyphs panel for you. All right, one thing you might notice is that over here, all the text that I had actually turned into these little boxes with an X inside of it. Now that happened because these are actually supposed to be glyphs. You can't access these emojis using the regular keystrokes. So let me show you how to load some emojis in here. All right, so I'm just gonna click once here, give this a hard return, so I create a new line down here at the bottom. Then I'm gonna jump into the glyphs panel. All right, over here, all the way at the top, we have these different tiles with letters in them. All right, so to load them, just double click. All right, so there we go with A, B, and C. All right, but sometimes it's not just that easy. All right, so let me delete some of these. All right, I'll show you what I mean. If I come over here, double click on U, and then double click on S, it actually gives me the flag for the United States. All right, so backspace gets rid of that S and it brings back the U. All right, now I'm gonna double click on G and that brings me the flag for Uganda. So if you were to actually bring in the abbreviation for a country, that's a quick way to bring in uh, an emoji for that flag. All right, you also have that listed over here in the glyphs panel. All right, so all you wanna do is scroll through here. Once you find an emoji you like, just double click on it and it'll load it right in here for you. All right, so let's get rid of all these guys. Delete. I'll go through, see if I could pick out one. All right, as I go through here, let's see, those are the different flags. Come up a little bit higher. All right, great, I'll go with this apple, just a little double click, all right. Command enter to accept that. Now, when I resize this, because it's part of a font, once I accept this change, it, you actually don't see any kind of pixelation at all. So it's great for scaling up and down, no problem at all. Uh, one thing I did wanna show you about the glyphs panel is that you could actually zoom out so you could see more of the list, but the icons are gonna be a lot smaller. And you can zoom in that way you get a better look at the different glyphs that you have available. All right, so just play around with that. Depending on your monitor size, you're gonna to wanna to change that around. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you for the emoji font. Next, I wanted to show you a different type of SVG font. This one is a color concept font. All right, so let's get rid of this. All right, I'm gonna bring in some more text here. This time I'm gonna go with NSL for never stop learning. All right, let's go with these letters nice and big. There we go. Command enter, that looks good. All right, so back over here at the top, I'm gonna start typing in Trajan. All right, so Trajan color concept. Once I activate it, check that out. NSL now has this awesome uh, golden effect to it. So you see some highlights and you see some shadows. Uh, and there's actually a gradient built into the font. All right, so that's really cool. And uh, at first I wasn't sure how to access the different colors that are actually inside this color concept font. All right, so I'm gonna target the S and when I hover over the S, I have access to all these different colors. All right, so I'm gonna go with the blue S. All right, now I'm gonna select the L and switch over to red. All right, command enter to accept that change. And now you see three different color versions for this font. 
All right, and you could also load them using the glyphs panel over on the right. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and make this guy a little bit larger. There you go, that way you could see more of the colors that are available to you. All right, so just go ahead and play around with those and uh, get some really cool effects. So there you have it folks, that's a quick look at emoji and SVG fonts in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018.